Hi everybody, this is Josh Keller and this is my first video log for our class. The thing that I wanted to talk today about was just a quick understanding of the LGBTQIA plus acronyms. The reason I feel this is important is because as social workers, no matter what level we work on, we're going to come into contact with so many different types of people, including people who identify with this community. And this community has gained letters um, over the years and I, I feel as of more recently and I didn't even know that there were this many letters and these letters mean something. These letters identify people who um, are part of this community and we just need to be competent and understand who they are. Um, so there have been various acronyms that have been used with this community. The most well known is the LGBT community um, or possibly the LGBTQ. But more recently you're seeing the Q+, the QIA, the QIA+, and they mean something. So let's go through this really quick. We have the, um, the L stands for lesbian, the G stands for gay, the B stands for bisexual, the T stands for transgender, and the Q stands for uh, a couple different things. We have queer, which as most of us know, that has been just a word that is, has been a slur for the LGBT community over years. It's just more of an inappropriate term um, in kind of, I don't want to say normal language, but when we're not identifying with this community. But when we are talking about this community, um, it has been used as more of an empowering term. Um, and it just means that somebody uh, who doesn't have those dominant expressions or whose gender or gender expressions um, are not the societal quote norm. And it's more of an empowering term than it is a derogatory term for this community when they use it. Um, it can also mean questioning, so this is the process of someone's exploring one's own gender identity, their gender expression, or their sexual orientation. The I, or intersex, means that somebody who is born with a specific reproductive or sexual anatomy that doesn't fit with the typical societal definitions of a female or a male. And then you have your asexual, um, and those are people with the sexual orientation that they don't necessarily feel sexually attracted to anybody. It doesn't mean they don't have sex with anyone, they just don't have that natural sexual attraction. And the plus means a bunch of different things. We have, um, it means two-spirited, pansexual, omnisexual, allies, etc. Um, in my references, the uh, UC Davis one really goes into in depth into this and is really good reference point for it. Um, so you should check that out, really good, that's where I got a lot of my information from. Um, so thanks so much for checking it out. Uh, any feedback, and if I'm wrong in any way, just let me know. Um, I'm constantly learning just like the rest of us, so just let me know. Have a great